Good afternoon, Vikings. My name is Allie, and you are watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. We recently caught up with Mr. Bond on how the choir is performing this year. Let's take a look. How am I feeling about this year so far as a whole? Uh, I don't think anybody likes the hybrid. I don't think anybody likes what's going on, if I'm being truthful. Um, I think for all the limitations that we have and for all the negative things that have had, I think the students have been remarkable. I mean, just uh, really, really remarkable. Positive most days in class, uh, willing to try things that we haven't done before. Um, overall, considering everything that has happened, uh, I'm very proud of my students, and uh, I think we've made the best of a bad situation. It made me really sad. I've been in show choir for four years, and I've been able to perform for four years, and all of our camps and all of our concerts and all our performances got canceled, and really that's, when, when doing extracurriculars, that's really what I look for, and so it was pretty sad. So, um, I knew coming into the school year, talking to administrations, we weren't gonna be allowed to have any live uh, performances. So um, two middle school concerts and two high school concerts were canceled right off the bat. Um, the show choir participates in several show choir competitions and events. And uh, those unfortunately were also canceled. Uh, the show choir especially performs, I bet first semester, probably about 30 times outside of school between different uh, Christmas parties or events that we're invited to. And I've had to let all of those people know that we're not allowed to, to perform either. So uh, that's been the most difficult part of the, this, uh, this change. Um, I'll probably miss like day trips the most. I think those are the most fun because they're really spontaneous and random. Um, since we did hybrid, I haven't been able to see all the people I really love so dearly that I normally got to see throughout the year. And um, in class, it's weird because we're all, we can't really hear each other sing, so it doesn't always sound as great as it could. Uh, so for choir, um, we knew early on that it was going to be drastically different. So I did have some time to plan, but we went from thinking there would be no singing at all uh, to being allowed to uh, rehearse in the room for 30 minutes, and then we have to leave the room to let it air out. It's about what I expected it to be. Um, hasn't changed much. Uh, the students, I think, have done a better job of adapting uh, than I have, but it's about what I thought it would be when we started school. Um, so personally, I would be excited to have all the students back. Uh, I think any performance teacher probably would like that. Uh, I understand the concerns with coming back, especially now that they've, they've increased our separation to 10 feet. Sure, I do think there's some positives. We're doing some individual recording with the students and that's, uh, that's gonna allow us to make our own CD uh, and push that out to the parents, either digitally or in a, in a physical form. Uh, that's not something I would have even attempted before. So uh, that's one of the highlights, yeah. If you are interested in becoming a Spirit Club member, check out the Schoology group and see the secret theme for tomorrow. If you want to join Spirit Club, you can enter the Spirit Club group and the code can be found in Schoology. Every time you buy a 20 ounce drink from the Viking Brew, you have the chance to win a bucket of candy. The winner will be announced on Halloween. Boo Grams will be sold during lunch for you to give to a special someone during this spooky season. You can buy one or more during lunch. The Pad Night SHS Day will be having a pad night at the Pad Restaurant on Tuesday, October 27th from 4 to 8 p.m. If you are interested in retaking your pictures, the retakes will be November 3rd and November 6th in the South Entry, Entryway from 7 to 2. Seaman FFA is selling poinsettias this year. If you are interested in purchasing one, email Mrs. Van Gordon. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, we lose four games, uh, which could have bettered our record, but by this, we will not, our record will stay the same. Let's see how the boys are staying busy. 
Uh, school, of course, and then after school we have online practice, and then otherwise just playing cards with family. And what is he missing out on? Uh, just uh, mainly soccer and golf. I go out and golf every day, and I don't have that capability anymore. Now let's take a look at the coach's perspective. Um, we still get a chance to play in the playoffs. Uh, we'll return to practice on Friday, and we'll be able to practice Friday, Saturday, Monday in order to play on Tuesday. Cache actually changed the rule this year due to all the COVID. Um, we didn't have to forfeit. They just canceled our games, um, so they don't count against us necessarily. Um, we just lost our last four games of the year, which hurts us in the fact that we haven't played in two weeks. We've we've kept them doing workouts at home, um, so they hopefully haven't all been sitting around and they've been working out and hopefully that allows us to jump right back in and stay, pick up where we left off. Just, we've, we've been able to work with it. Um, it's unfortunate, but uh, grateful that we get the chance to play again. So if you're able to come out and watch on Tuesday when we play. If you want to watch the Seaman High School varsity football game against Washburn Roll tomorrow night, go to the Seaman School's website where a live stream link will be found. The boys' informational meeting will be held for Group B at 115 in the East Commons. There will be an informational meeting for students interested in wrestling today for Group B at 115 in the West Commons. We caught up with the boys cross country assistant coach to see how their season is going so far. Um, biggest thing I'm in charge of is um, uh, probably making sure that Coach Weens uh, doesn't lose his mind and that he maintains his sanity. Uh, but next to that, um, and that's, you know, he would probably agree with that, honestly, that's, but that's mostly a jest. Uh, next to that, it's probably helping to facilitate workouts. One of the nice things about um, having multiple cross-country coaches this year, especially with the pandemic, is that we can split up. We can have multiple groups doing the same workout in different places. Uh, and that's kind of been one of my main roles this season, especially. Um, best part of being an assistant coach, uh, probably not having to worry about the paperwork um, that the head coach has to worry about. I get to do all the fun stuff. So we try to empower kids and, and give them ownership over um, their races. And we we, we kind of guide them through that process of um, figuring out their strategies and how they're going to run and, and, and their technique and that sort of thing. So. Uh, mostly through that and, and also holding kids accountable. With with the pandemic and given all the uncertainties that we had at the beginning of the season, I think just the fact that we persisted and we're still here and we're still going strong is is what I'm probably the most proud of. We, had, we, we weren't sure if we were going to get any meets in at all over the course of the year. Uh, with all the uncertainty, and, and here we are still going strong, knock on wood, hopefully we got three more meets uh, that we can get through. Uh, but just the fact the kids have been really resilient, uh, have been hard workers, and, and feel really good about that. Uh, what are your goals for the rest of the season? Uh, for goals, team goals, you know, with the, we, we should absolutely be able to qualify for state. I think that's kind of a minimum team goal type of thing um, but it, hopefully we can compete for a regional championship I think if we run well we can do that uh, but mostly to give you kind of the, the cliche generic response is hopefully we can see continued growth from our athletes we, we've shown a lot of progress over the course of the season and hopefully we can continue to see that the next three meets we got league on Saturday regionals the following week in state in Wichita after that I don't, I don't know if competing for a state championship is uh, really in the cards. We would have to have a lot of things go very well and a lot of things go poorly for some other teams. There's some very talented teams in 5A. But I think if we can uh, obviously get to state and then finish the race feeling good about our performance and feeling excited about the future, 
uh, I'll feel pretty good about that. We have a lot of younger guys who don't have a lot of varsity experience who will be coming back uh, next year. And if we can get them excited about the off season and then doing well next year, I think that's a pretty good thing. That's all we have for today, Vikings. Have a great rest of your day.